are you dreaming about starting up a business? Are you dreaming about working from home? Is it really tough to leave the kids behind when you have to go to work every day and then sit in that dreadful traffic and you wish you could change that situation? Do you want to grow your business, find more customers, charge more for your product, for your services? There's so many challenges out there and we all wish, dream, it could be better. I want to help you today by overcoming your biggest fear starting off next year, wondering how it is going to be better. Is that hitting the nail on the head? If I'm anywhere near correct, then this training that I have planned for you is going to help you address some issues that are holding you back. I have five pillars that I use as the basis for my marketing strategies. Why are you doing it? What are you selling? Who are you selling to? Where do you have to go to sell to them? And how do you go about the selling? That, in a nutshell, is my marketing made simple, pillars of a marketing strategy. And in this training today, I'm going to deal with three of those to help you crack a code that may be the reason you are not moving ahead. But first, sorry, housekeeping. Can we just please switch off all interruptions, close the door, turn up the volume, take out a notepad and listen to me carefully. We are going to cover a lot of ground today and I really have this deep, deep desire to help you break free and get out the starting gates, bolting forward. Imagine the plan in place. Passionate because you have some answers. You know where you're going. So welcome to the training. We are going to crack on with your big why. And if you are still dreaming, if you are still asking questions about what you can do to create a business. If you don't believe that something you are passionate about, that you love to do, that makes your heart sing, is not worthy of creating a living for you. Can I tell you that what you love most is probably something you know better than a lot of people out there? that you do better than a lot of people out there. If you can think about the one thing that makes your soul sing and that people talk to you about, people ask you about, you love talking about, that thing is potentially a business opportunity. But it all starts with your big why. If you are not moving forward, if you are not making a dream come true, it's probably because you're missing your big why. I have a great story for you because I have created a number of small businesses whilst working in this space of learning, going back to school, learning online marketing in addition to my 30 odd years of traditional marketing experience. But I learned something very, very important about the why. I created a fabulous business for my husband called Higher Classic Cards because we are 100% clear and everybody knows him. The one thing that he is passionate about him that drives him, excuse the pun, is Classic Cards. He loves Classic Cards. I created a business out of his hobby that is now really successful. He works every day at what he loves. It's not work for him. He gets up in the morning to play with his cars and he's paid to do it. It was easier to do than my business because my why was not clear. His why was 100% clear because he wants to drive his cars. He wants to play with cars and that's what he's wired for. I spent four years 
since going on my own into red match deck marketing coaching marketing training small business marketing but you know what i wasn't clear on my why i had different small goals thinking they were my why but i never got deep 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 into the real why and when you get that you find out so much more I was looking to my gurus for validation. I was studying online, trying to study everything about what's my purpose, reading a book about chasing my North Star. But now I know. I was lucky. I had an epiphany. I've been looking everywhere for the answers, and I found the answers. And I want to help you do that today. Because if your biggest fear is an unfulfilled life, leaving a legacy for your children and for your loved ones. Or it's something smaller like you're just not paying the bills and you have to break free from these worries that you have right now. Whatever it is, if your biggest fear is that your dreams are not chased, getting your why is what's going to make a difference. It's what gives you courage to keep on. It's what gives you courage to push through, to look for the ways to find your solutions to making that dream come true. And you know there's this lovely subject about neuroplasticity, which is another topic we'll deal with on another day. But our brains are constantly rewired to deliver our reality. And the more you dream and chase your dreams, the more likely you are going to find the way to get there. Focus on that dream. Be clear where you want to end up. And somehow the universe, your gray matter, everything around you starts lining up for you to realize that big why for your dream to come true. I just want to quickly drop in a disclaimer here. This is no get rich scheme. This is no quick solution to suddenly solve all your problems and make everything wonderful. Make your soul sing, make all your financial worries go away. This needs work. You need to get to work on realizing your dream. But you know what the great thing is? When you know why, suddenly it's not that difficult. Suddenly it becomes easier to chase your goals because you've got clarity about where you're going and why you want to be there. You'll suddenly look at the finish line and not what's happening along the way. So I'm hoping with this series of three trainings dealing with these five pillars that you're going to get tremendous clarity about either a business opportunity or how to take your business to the next level, how to pivot, how to scale, whatever it is that's on your mind. I am hoping and going to put every effort into delivering a training that is going to help you break through powerfully. The point I have to make, my disclaimer is you have to do the work. So use the worksheets. Take some time out, go and sit quietly, re-listen to the video, get inspired and make your notes, set some goals, set intentions, make decisions to really make the rest of this year count. So to the big why, I've got a great quote here, he who has a why can endure anyhow. Can I repeat that? He who has a why can endure anyhow. Do you have a dream? Are you chasing a dream? Have you got a dream that you don't believe can possibly become a reality? When you have your personal why, which is your life purpose, it is a belief that inspires you to act. It is the greater fulfillment of everything you do. I've got a great example for you about how a why inspires action. The day before you go on annual holidays, you suddenly become a model of time management. The most effective employee in your workplace, in your business. Suddenly you're focused. You're not wasting time. 
You're not sitting on social media. You're not taking long smoke breaks. You're not hanging around people's desks with a cup of coffee, chatting about what they're up to, how they are, what they plan to do that evening, etc. You're driven. You're results driven. You're getting things done. Because guess what? Tomorrow there's a reward. Tomorrow you go and leave. Do you get the gist of that? The why is that reward tomorrow. That makes today so worthwhile. You have time to fit everything and you're spinning, you're running. But guess what? You keep doing it with glee, with pleasure, despite the pressure, because tomorrow there's the reward. That's what your why does for you. But it's a little bit long term, perhaps. But you put it front and center, and that is what's going to get you through. Give meaning to everything you do. That's why you get up in the morning. That's what's going to pull you through the hardships. That's what's going to leap over the barriers. That's what's going to motivate you and pull you back onto your path towards that big dream coming a bit reality. I've got a worksheet for you, which um, I've got from my current mentor, Dean Graziosi, from his Millionaire Success Habit. I want you to grab a piece of paper and let's make some notes. Let's get you going, because then you can go back to the worksheet. I didn't want you necessarily to print it before. You can go back to the worksheet and then start writing with great understanding of what we want to achieve today. The problem is you are not clear on your why. Once you are clear on the why, the rest, the how, is dead easy and just falls into place. But you know what? So many of us don't dig deep enough with the why. That certainly was my problem. I didn't get the big picture at the end, the big motivation, my reason for being. Get the get your pen out and I'm going to start asking you some questions that I want you to write down. And then it's a deeper, deeper digging exercise. And at the end, you're going to find something that really inspires you. So first of all, what gets you up in the morning? Make a note of that. An example, is it that simple that you have to go to work? Why is having to go to work in the morning important? Give you a moment to answer that one. Possibly because you'll get fired if you don't. So why is it important that you're not fired? Because you need the income. You need the job. Why do you need the job? Why is it important to have the job? So every level you're digging deeper. Why is it important to have the job? To earn a salary. Why is it important to earn a salary? Because you have to feed your family. Because you want to be happy. You want to feel belonging. You want to feel like the breadwinner. Keep digging down. Why is it important to care for your family? Because you want self-esteem. You want to feel that you are creating a special opportunity for them. You are helping your family. You're going down about seven levels. If you still have not got down to the point where you really resonate and connect with your big why, just keep digging down using the same exercise until you get why is it so important for you to be successful? And that last answer at the last drilling down is your big why. On the note sheet, you'll see there's a page where you can write down why it's important to be successful, what your big why is. And then here, I would like to challenge you to get six or nine images create a little vision board and things that make your soul sing, that make you feel this is what I'm aiming for. If it's travel, a beautiful destination. If it's your child's graduation, your a graduation photograph. If it's 
a happy old age, a couple sitting healthy, happy in their twilight years, whatever it might be, um, your granny living in a beautiful place, put a photograph of an old lady on the porch, whatever motivates you, stick it on that page. Then go and laminate this page and put it where you can see it, front and center everywhere, first thing in the morning, during the day in your office, in the evening before you go to bed. Post this little motivation everywhere because I can guarantee you it's what's going to pull you through. And watch out when you've got this clear because great things are going to start happening. Suddenly things fall into place. Suddenly you have a fun doing what you're here to do because suddenly you're purpose driven. You know where you're going. So um, this, by the way, can be used for any aspect of your life that you want to change. If you want to be fitter, go, why do you want to be fitter? Drill down, drill down, drill down. The motivation seven levels down will suddenly make sense and be the driving force behind a fitness um, schedule for you. Or if you want to lose weight, why do you want to lose weight? It goes beyond looking good, beyond fitting into your clothes, blah, 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 it might end up with being healthier, a healthier lifestyle. Why do you want a healthier lifestyle? So you can be around for your family and loved ones longer, that you can be healthier and able to do more activities. Can you see how this exercise can apply to any part of your life, be it spiritual, be it um, career, be it uh, relationships, whatever, you can use this exercise for everything. So now you have your big why. By the way, I've also posted a link, TED Talks video link about his book, Start With Why. Very good exercise to watch as you're doing this, your personal why. And he does a very interesting talk about why companies are successful obviously uses Apple as an example. And his theory is that everybody knows what they're doing. People know what they're doing. Companies know what they're doing. How I'm doing it is this way I'm doing it, giving you of myself, being passionate, talking to you one-on-one, -on -one, talking to you live, trying to help you make a difference. Why am I doing it? Because I want you to end this year strong. Our environment, our communities depend on small business and entrepreneurs to keep economy ticking over, to keep things moving about, to keep money changing hands. It's for the good of everybody. We all employ, all look after extended families of employees, etc. I want to help you be more successful so we can spread our gift, what we achieve that much further to have more impact. That is why I'm doing what I'm doing. So watch that video. It's very, very thought provoking. Everyone knows what? Most people know how they are doing it. Are they doing it sustainably? Are they doing it just to put money in the bank, etc.? But the deep why? is the important one that most businesses have not explored. And the interesting thing is, once you know what your business why is, you're going to connect with your customers because they're actually buying your why. And Sinek explains it really well in that video. People connect with you and your why because that's what makes you unique. That's how you get to your unique selling point. That's how you become authentic. That's how people believe in what they do, what you do, and they care about what you do, and they trust you, believe in you, and want more of you, and come to you with money ready to invest, rather than you have to being salesy and sleazy and trying to convince people they need you. Your why, personal why, drives your business. It drives your employees. It drives the good luck, the passing on, the cycle of what you give, you get. Be clear on your why. So do that exercise. I would love to hear from you in the comments about how it's gone. I'm 
invite you to share your big why. Once you've come to that final worksheet, type in my big why is, and I would love to know. I believe small businesses are often not successful because their big why is not clear, which is why I'm bringing this training to you. Once your passion is down on paper, presented in front of you in a little vision board, once you're purpose driven and you know where you're going, you're going to be so much more committed to doing the hard work, to getting the end result. And that's what's needed. No business was ever successful with no work. You have to work at this. But if you know where you want to go, the work becomes a pleasure and the joy. It's no longer a slog or a struggle. And I look forward to seeing you in the next training. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.